and now we're ready. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. And we're back. Yeah. <laughs> we're back. Today, we're going to be telling you guys, once again, we get a lot of questions about how to snatch your stomach and how did we snatch our stomachs. Like we, we, we do it. And we're going to tell you about Snatch Band's new products. I love their new products. And we're going to tell you and answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking me about um, which position to put the white tummy tuck wrap um, under the garment. And so we're going to go over a lot of things. Um, but the first thing that we want you to do is do what? Subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing we definitely want to go over is how to really snatch your stomach and if you have if if you have if you have had have had a 360 bbl um or any type of lipo to the stomach or in the stomach area it don't matter what type of surgery it is if you had any type of lipo to the stomach area um you must wrap your stomach correctly Okay, and once you wrap your stomach correctly, it just helps because actually when they do lipo, you got to remember that, and, and this is what my doctor was telling me, that the skin and everything that's in between there still has to connect back. Together. It has to come back together. So when you are training your waist after your lipo, that's why if you have a tummy tuck or any type of lipo, they tell you wrap wrap your stomach wrap your stomach and it's not just because of that but it do help with shape, the, shape it, it. It, it helps shape you it helps with the blood clogs yeah. it helps you to not get you no know, the uh fibroises mm -hmm. um so you definitely want to keep everything wrapped as well a lot of people ask on my previous video which i will put at the end of this vid video that where i actually showed you how to actually wrap your stomach after the bbl um, so once again, the items that you will have is your garment, your white tummy tuck wrap, your hard boards, okay, your hard boards, and your snatch band, okay? Those are the items that you will need to actually be able to wrap your stomach right and to make sure that you get snatched how you like it. Or if you liked how I snatched my stomach, this is how I done it, right? Um, so... What you need to do first is first, you do not, you do not put the white tummy tuck wrap on until after you are healed. If you still have wounds where you're still leaking the fluids out, do not put the t white tummy tuck wrap on. You want to be healed first. And they do heal quickly. So once once all, the, all of the drainage go out and you see the wounds is closed, Go ahead and start wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So, you basically what you do is you put your white t-shirt on. After you put your white t-shirt on, then you're going to wrap your stomach with your white tummy tuck wrap. Wrap it or have somebody help you wrap your stomach with the, with the white tummy tuck wrap, which it gives that compression that everybody used those soft boards for. I mean, the the, yeah. the, the, the the soft little foam boards, mm -hmm. you don't have to use those if you have that white tummy tuck wrap and you would just have a better shape because the yeah. white foam boards, it's just squares and it just kind of just go anywhere. Um, so you're going to wrap your stomach with that white tummy tuck wrap. And then after you wrap your stomach with the white tummy tuck wrap, then you put your girdle on. Well, put your, put your, put, put your faja on. And as you put your faja on, you go ahead and put it up button it up make sure it's nice and firm around the stomach area and then from there you're going to get your hard board your hard board and if you have not seen any of the videos like i said of me actually doing it for you then i'm going to place that video on the back side of this video when it get done and you can just click on that video and see exactly how i done it so now once you put your your faja back on you're going to take that hard board your hard board and you're going to put it in between your um faja and the um white tummy tuck mm -hmm. okay you're going to put it in between there and then you have everything going you take your little snatch band and you wrap it around that 
okay? And that means your stomach is completely shaped under there. It's completely shaped. And, and also, it has, it has all the compression that it needs. So, don't forget your butt boards. Don't forget to put your butt board in before you do all of that. All of that. You got to put your butt board in, too, because that helps shape your butt and give you that that actual slope that you're looking yeah. for. So you you definitely want to put in, I'll show you a picture of what I do have for the um, butt boards. And here that is here. So um, basically, so once you have everything on, yes, it do fit tight, but really after coming out of surgery, it actually feel pretty good you feel it helps a lot like the compression around your stomach it actually help a lot yeah. um i do want to go over a couple of things too that um a lot of questions that we get as far as uh having the compression on your butt okay um depending on what doctor you go to some some garments they require you to have they be they are extremely tight. They're extremely tight because when me and Brie went to the Dominican Republic, the fajas that we had on was so yeah. damn tight. <laughs> and I mean it was so tight where it made us so uncomfortable that I think it was so tight that it caused the burning on the inside. Um and just the, it was oh so uncomfortable. Uncom yeah. But Brianna hasn't had her second BBL yet, but I'm I'm getting my what well, well, I had mine done. And when you do it with certain doctors down here in the USA, they require you to have loose fajas once you just come out of surgery. So when I just came when I came out of surgery with my BBL with Dr. Dobak, I think my faja might have been almost dragging. I mean sagging off like it, i was literally in like a 3x oh wow like huge 3x like i i, I was like no compression no compression whatsoever yeah so but as you guys know if you guys follow me you know that immediately when i got back i did switch over because i just had to have compression because i do know that it helps with the fibrosis i do know that it helps with um the uh shaping yes your, your shaping and with the blood clock so you definitely want to make sure that you do have some type of compression it don't need to be extra tight but it don't need to be too loose neither um now a lot of people do say things about if the faja is too tight on their butt will it shrink it will it shrink the butt will it do like that to be honest with you y'all I have experienced both, and my butt has not shrinked at all. At all, just to be honest. Um, uh, if you're losing fat cells, that's not because of the faja. That's an issue with what's inside and what's going on. Uh, so if you're losing fat cells, it's not because of the faja. Um, actually, your 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 butt actually once you get out of surgery, your butt is swollen. So you, you're going to see it's, your butt gonna look good because it's nice and swole and carrying on, and you like okay, uh, yeah. it's looking good in the faja, okay, right? And then as you start going down the next couple of couple of weeks, you drop so fast that you like, oh my god, my butt is shrinking, like oh my god, like my butt is getting small, like I liked it better when it was swole, no, was. when it was swole, because that happened to me, and I was like, that what? To me too. Yeah, I was like, wow, my butt getting little. And yeah, you, you know, you try to blame it on everything, but no, that's just the process. It's just the process. So, yeah. but after about what what is it, two or three months? Mm -hmm. After about two or three months, you are going to experience a fluff in your butt. When you get your fluff, all of that what you thought was gone is going to come right back, and it's going to look good, depending on the, your doctor's shape. Now, some people. Pick the wrong doctors and uh they shapes do not be looking well mm -hmm. and to be honest with you that's why we had to go I, I had to go to and get around too because i asked for a certain thing with dr malona and i got something else yep. 
And I'm just so picky. I'm just not going to have my body looking any type of way. <laughs> no, you're going to fix it. It's going to get right. So I went back to doc. I went to Dr. Dobak, and Dr. Dobak did an excellent job. Um, so if you guys have any questions, do you have any anything to say about that? Just about um, wrapping up um, the fajas. Just make sure that you're compressed. Um, that three sizes, that's unacceptable. You need to make sure that your stomach is healing properly and compressed properly. Um, after surgery and a, a couple, like six months after surgery too, you need to make sure that you, that you write for long-term results. Right. I mean, it's going to be long-term anyway, but like, however you take care of your body at that, at this moment that you are right now is going to determine your long-term results. That's what I have to say about. Right. I have yeah. talked to. A lot of people and they say, Oh, I haven't I haven't even wore a faha and they ask me oh, questions wow. like, Oh, well, why is my stomach hard? Or why is this or why is this? Put your fajas on, y'all. It's really, really important. Like put your fajas on. Um, don't don't get so anxious that that you wanna see your body results and it end up messing you up in the long run because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You have to do what you're supposed to do to get the results that you want. And a lot of people like my results, but you have to understand that I did what I was supposed to do. So, um, wear your fajas. Do not get so I I excited that you just take your fajas off and be because your body looks good at the moment. No, and also, ladies, if you are under two months, it's normal for you to still be swollen. It's normal for your stomach to still be hard. It's normal yeah. for even, you might have some hard places in your butt. Yeah. Like, it's normal. It's normal to still have some bruising. You have to give it time. You have to get yourself time to heal. Now, if you are still swelling, get your butt, get in the bed, and put your feet up. Keep your feet up. The doctors will tell you, keep your feet up and wear your compression socks. Yeah. Correct? Wear your compression socks and keep your feet up. So, like I said, don't be so excited that you so ready to do, do this and then, oh, I'm still swollen and I'm three weeks. You're going to be. Um... Other quick questions. If your stomach is hard, if, it's, if you've got hard spots, it happens. That's the process of healing. You're going to have hard spots. Now, if your stomach is lumpy, that's fibrosis. So, you might need to go back to the doctor because you see where it's a whole bunch of lumps. That's fibrosis. So, that means that either you're not wrapping yourself correctly or something was done wrong and you need to go back to see your doctor. Um, now as far as your butt goes, to be honest with you, y'all, like I said, it's, it's good to have garments, um, with the, with the butt out or, or with less compression on the butt and, and the hips. But to be honest with you guys, I really don't think that it would really make a difference. Uh, but that's only because I went to the Dominican Republic and I was down here the Dominican Republic had me in a super tight faja, and down here was a super loose. And at the end of the day, my butt still came out great. Yeah. Um. So what we're gonna do 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 now? You know that um, I I love 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 snatch bands because they are the one that gave me my experience with the fajas that I have wore. And my daughter and many, 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 many others who have contacted me and said thank you so much for one, um, showing them um, the proper garments to wear and what I wore and giving them the great results that they have had. This is not because um, we are just affiliates with the company. No, it's because we wore these first. And then said, no, these work, and I really like these. So what I'm going to do is we're going to become affiliates so all of my dolls can get discounts. <laughs> yeah. So.
so and that's what we actually do um what we will do is we're going to put our discount codes for snatch bands which is www.snatchbands.com and i'm going to put our codes um in the description and right here those are our codes so you can get a good a good percentage off of your uh, garments but what I do want to do guys is I want to show you the new garments that's out because one of them is so good and not only do you get two uh, two in one like it's really 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 good so when you get done wearing the actual Faha you will still have another piece yeah. you will still have your your extra piece that you will always be able to continue to, wear to out of your clothes and Right, right. So you can either wear the, 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 the garment mm -hmm. under your clothes, or you could keep wearing a waist tra trainer. Yeah. They got a full three. Uh, I mean, triple. Um, triple band. Triple band waist trainer that's full coverage. That is a beast. Yeah. And so I'm going to um, show you guys those um, because I do want y'all to y'all to know that it works really, really well. It's not a lot of compression. On the thighs and on the butt, um, but the stomach it has a lot of compression on the stomach, especially when you, when you put the uh, band on the uh, triple band. Like it's just really just a beast. So I really want to show you those. And Brianna actually wears one without the garment. She just wears the waist trencher trainer, mm -hmm. and it still shapes it, her. Yeah. It still shapes her. And y'all, I got one too. <laughs> I got one too. Uh, okay. Okay, and she has one too. So I, I got one and I'm going to show you what the new garments are. Now, y'all know I still love my exquisite. Um, I love the exquisite. And we're going to show you guys a couple of things too because uh, we're going to show you the new garments that's out. And I'm going to also show you how to actually wear the snatch band that comes with the exquisite. Because a lot of my dolls, they hit me and say, oh, don't the band go on the top? No, it don't go on the, on, on, on the top of your stomach. It's meant for the inner curves, so it's the middle of your stomach. Um, and, we, and I'm also explaining to you about the miracle. And the miracle, a lot of women see seen us in our last video about the miracle that Brianna had on and think that you're supposed to wear that right out of surgery. No, not, not the miracle. The miracle is not for right out of sur surgery. It's a couple of months after surgery yeah. when you have to go back to work or when you have that time and you just need that extra compression, but there's no compression on the butt. Okay? So right now, we're going to go ahead and show you guys the new garments. Excuse me. That we have. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you next is the, they call it the Betty. Mm -hmm. they, they call it the Betty, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they call it the Betty. And... We're going to show you that in just a minute. Okay. And now what you see is what you call the Betty. And what you're looking at is a great Faha uh, with great compression. Um, and it actually is a two-in-one. It comes with the actual triple belt waist trainer. It has an actual uh, ex a extra snap on the top. And the Faha actually zips up. And it also has clips on the inside. And as you can see, your stomach will be completely snatched because it is a full coverage waist trainer, triple belt waist trainer, which is great for your stomach area. And if you see, you can look around. The butt is stretchable and breathable, uh, which you will have not a lot of compression on your butt because it is stretchable and breathable. Um, once again, we're going to take it off and this is how the actual Faha look itself and it feels really good. Now, this is a comfortable Faha that holds great compression and also hold great compression on your thighs. Now, right here, we're going to show you guys how to properly wear your snatch band. The snatch band does not go on the top of your garment. It goes in the middle where your curves are is the curvy spot because that is what makes your hourglass figure. So as you look, I'm putting it on the center of my stomach so you guys can see because you are trying to get that shape right there, not on the top. It does not go on the top of your stomach. It goes in the middle, which is your center 
mid curves. Now, as you continue to see, this is my center mid curves. And as you see where my hands are going and it's showing you exactly where the curves are, the uh, snatch band will, once it goes down, it's tight and it will not budge. So you definitely want those curves for your hourglass shape. Next, we're going to be showing you how you can get just the actual waist trainer after you are done with your faja. You can actually just wear your waist trainer. It's really, really, really great. Um, and it holds a lot of compression for your stomach. I am over a year and I still waist train my stomach. Um, this is the triple belt waist trainer. And next, what Brie will be displaying is the Miracle uh, Garment. Uh, a lot of people are wearing the Miracle Garment for right after surgery. It does not go for right after surgery. It's for a couple of months after surgery. It's a good product to be able to wear under your clothes at work. That will be able to help with the compression that you still need for those remaining months. The Miracle is a great, great, no compression on hips and butt. Only for doing work or going out. Okay, and we are back. So, those are the new Fahas. We I wanted to show you guys the new one that's out. You get two for one. I love it. Use our discount codes because they do work. And as you see, it snatches you regardless. And not only when you get done wearing your actual garment, you will still have a nice, nice, nice full coverage waist trainer because you always want to continue to train your waist. Always continue to train your waist. Like I'm over a year and I still train my waist. Um, so, but if you guys have any, any other questions, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram or Pretty Bree on her Instagram and we will be gladly to help anybody we love our dogs and we want everybody to have the their best experience in having the bbls or or tummy tucks or whatever y'all want to have done um we got you um but we only deal with companies that we know products that actually work or that we have had experience with um one thing i do want to say about snatch bands is that they have all type of garments so some garments are made to be comfortable with compression. Some garments are more firm with compression. Some garments are short. Some garments have arms. Some garments, they all have different type of arm of, of, of different type of uh, things, but it's your preference. It's your preference if you want to be more comfortable, excuse me, or if you want a, a more firm material, um, it's all within the material. Uh, if you want the butt to hip out, if it matters, if it don't, if you want your butt parts to be stretchable and breathable, um, or if you don't, like they actually have all type of bahas, but you just have to ask because they will tell you that they have all types. If you, but you have to tell them what you want. If you want it firm or if you want it comfortable, like the one that I have on is it, the 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 garment is actually comfortable. It gives me room for my hips and my butt, um, but the but the but the waist is a beast. <laughs> it's a beast. So check it out, y'all. Use our codes if you have any questions. Any questions about your BBLs? Oh, and the majority of their fajas do have openings where you can use the bathroom. Not do number two, but they do have a garment on there that you can pull the whole bottom back down. And you don't have to take anything off. So all you got really got to do is just ask. Um, anything? Anything else? No. No. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. Okay. So